hello everyone so today I'm gonna do some few more uh, improvements to our uh, AIs in the combat system so here you can see now after they do an attack they kind of uh, jump back so they don't stay uh, too close to the uh, player or whoever the enemy they are attacking uh, so that avoid uh, having uh, making the characters stay too much together to in a close range so and also other than that I have improved the amount they are moving around here as well uh, so it reduces the chance of them uh, crowding up together so they are more distributed around their targets so yeah and also I improve the I'm going to improve their uh, lock on behavior as well so they keep maintain the their uh, gaze towards the player or whatever the enemy that they are targeting right now uh, while they are moving around and doing the flankings I actually uh, had implemented things for that but uh, they were somewhat not uh, broken after changes that I introduced later on so we are going to fix them as well so yeah let's see how to do these changes today and before we get started you uh, let me remind you that you can download the project files from the patron page and also you can watch all other episodes from this playlist and yeah now let's get back to today's tutorial Alright, so first let me duplicate enemies. So I have a couple more enemies, maybe three is enough. And now here. Okay. So let me just show the current state. okay so here what happened is I was spawned by the time the AI was initialized I was already in their view so that's why they didn't equip weapon now they do right so you see they are uh, I don't like the way that they crowded together because it would be better if they are more distributed in this space around the player so first thing is let's make this capsule for enemies a bit bigger I think that would make things better so something like 55 so it would reduce overlap with each other but I don't think it would yeah I can still attack them not a problem and also uh, something cool would be after they do an attack they should jump back instead of staying in the same place that would make things better so we can do it here let me open my behavior tree this one btn pc and the attack is handled in this subtree attack subtree here and this is where uh, the npc performs a light attack uh, maybe we should reduce this weight period as well to make enemies a bit aggressive and here I can call activate ability and use the ability tag evade so this would be called right after doing a heavy attack or light attack okay now let's see what happens let's wait for them to do an attack 
Yeah, see? No, it moved back after doing the attack. Okay, that's better, but... Okay, let's go, let's go. What else? Uh, I think I see some problem with their flanking. They are not actually keeping focused on me. See? When they move to the sides, Oh, wait, wait, <laughs> why did he uh, cancel and do the evade before he finished the attack? Maybe we should have some delay here before this step. Wait. Oh, one second. Yeah, one second should be enough. Now it shouldn't, enemy should not cancel out. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think they are not focusing on me. That is also I need to fix. So, focusing. I already have this lock on. So here, all right. Uh, so I'm using this lock on enemy and i call it somewhere here lock on target so basically what this does is call this lock on enemy but this does not uh, disable orient or oh, make orient rotation to movement false that is only appli uh, applied for the player character as i remember because in the player character orient uh, the character properly orients towards the closest enemy while moving around if I am in the range like this but that does not happen for the NPC characters okay maybe we should try that so for that here so oh, the moment set orion rotation to moment let's make it false and when we lock off let's set it back to true And I need to check my lock of ability. Soft lock. Okay, here we call lock on and we also call this. Yeah, because I was not doing that in the character level. But that's why that was not applied for enemies, I think. Um, lock off. Here, oh, here I call lock on enemy with no target. Maybe we should use lock off enemy. Of enemy here. Yeah. Okay, now let's see. Now let's see. 
let's see how the plan no, they don't still seem to be locked Ah, yeah, there, there, see. Okay. Uh, now I think it would be better if they move a bit further away from me. How about. somebody like this yeah now they are more further apart from each other So yeah, thanks for watching. Those are the old changes that I'm gonna do today for improvement. So let's continue to do more improvements in upcoming episodes as well. And as always, updated project files will be available here. See you in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.